Hey chat boys out there, today in this video I'm just going to be telling you guys about what I got to on my first day. This evening it is the Amadel double bill and Aaron is going to be kidnapped. I'm not ready for that. I hope nothing bad happens to him and I was supposed to be going to the mall for a catch up with my mates but wasn't feeling very well last night. Overslept and then found out my dad can take me and so I didn't end up going again. Also, I was still feeling a little bit rough and I ended up helping my dad and younger sister with a bit of work because my dad helped my younger sister build a chair for her final art project. So I was helping with that and I had a nice refresher shower, felt a bit better, had a bottle of stew and I went on to Facebook to Instagram, tidied my office up and my dog dosed up. My younger brother and his girlfriend got back from being at Newport and they were just watching some films upstairs being very loud and very crazy as per usual and I worked on the new chapter to my book series and some new songs and stories for so my dog slash game and moved some of my dogs and dogs stuff on from my big family and I my dogs to show I put some of the new dogs on display and some of the older dolls into storage and I did some dog photography stuff and took some more photos of the new rats inbox I got the other day and I still can't believe I got them. They're so lovely, they're such great dolls and their inbox still I still haven't opened them and I'm not going to open them. Like with my Tilly Barbie, the Tilly hair Barbie that I've got and the Dot 2 figurines that I've got, I'm not going to open them. I'm hopefully going to start collecting some more dolls and once my older was moved out, my younger brother's going to move into this room and I'll have the room all to myself. I'm going to have one side of the room while I'm in at the moment as my bedroom and the other side where my younger brother is at the moment as my bedroom and vlogging studio and little office area. So yeah, I can't wait for that. My mum and dad were thinking about knocking down the divided wall that my dad put up for me and my young brother but I want to keep it like that but the wall's a bit knackered from where my young brother when playing FIFA or on Xbox got angry would hit his head on the back of the wall because the wall's only a little divider wall it's literally bent a bit and there's a bit of a crack in the wall so we might have to fix that up but yeah he's been told not to do that and he's so annoying they played till the god knows when in the morning when I'm trying to get my boot sleep I need all the boot sleep I can get <laughs> And anyway, so I had some lunch, I had a sandwich and a cup of tea and watched today's Home and Neighbours and some other stuff off record and be for play oh, oh, can't speak today. BBC I player and record and catch up and watch some DVDs and listen to some CDs and vinyl and played on Minecraft and Mario Kart and Subway Suffer and some games such like Start Off with and you know, games and other stuff like that. Worked on some new songs, played on my keyboard a bit and did some arts and craft and designing and illustrating and some paper dress making stuff. And I did a bit of colouring and some words such as in painting and some other kind of walking stuff with my siblings. And then me and my mum and dad and then sister went off to the revival shop. It's just a shop, a uh, dump shop where they put stuff to sell and stuff. Because my young sister's doing a chair for a final art project. We've got a few like chairs and stuff to help build a chair that she's designed. It's going to have bookshelves either side of the, where the arm rests are and it's going really well and I got a few things the first thing I got was Overcome by Alexander Burke and it had never been opened I just took the wrapping off and I can't wait to listen to this and a bit of Michael Bublé still trying to get Michael Bublé's Christmas but this comes with disc 1 and disc 2 and on disc 2 it comes with a few Christmas songs and I just love a bit of Michael Bublé, Michael Bublé is great, I love his voice. Then I got Cinderella, one of my favourite Disney films of all time, such a classic and it's two disc. My family friend actually got a rabbit called Gus Gus and he is so sweet. Then I got... Grease is the word. I love this film. Such a classic. John Travolta and Lavinia and John are so good in this. Can't wait. And it to watch this. It's 
the I think it's like a special edition or something like that. Yeah, it's such a good film. Can't wait to watch that. And then the last one I got was Dot Two, John Pertry as the third Doctor in his first story, where he's exiled up to Earth and was stuck on Earth. And it's such a good episode. I love it. Could you put this with my Dot Two DVD collection that's getting bigger and bigger. So can't wait for that. Then got home. And there was a knock at the door, and it was the new post boy. Thank God my dog was in the back garden because he normally, whenever someone comes to the door, he runs at the door and like sparks and stuff. He doesn't want to hurt them, he just wants to play with them and get them to throw the tennis ball for them. Because the people on the other side of the door don't know that, so it can be a bit frightening for them. And so, luckily, he was in the back garden playing with my dad and didn't really hear the door. I didn't really hear it because he knocked on the door very quickly. Opened door and he was very shy, bless him. Gave us our post and went off on his way. And then the door knocked again. I said, it's not the postman again, is it? And it was my best mate, Matt, who I saw on Tuesday. And he'd gone with our mates. And he called me up a few times. And I called out to say, sorry, I'm not going to be able to make it. And so I felt bad for him having to be with the girls. And he was the only boy. And so he came in and I made him a cup of tea and watched him one of those episodes. And some listen to some music. We just had a nice catch up, and then me and my mum dropped him off home. We're now back, and the ice cream man came, and I got an ice cream, a screwball, and the ice cream man that comes out here locally is so lovely. He's known me since I was a child, and he always gives us massive ice creams, and yeah, it was really nice. And then on Saturday, I'm going to be going off to Costa to just have a bit of me time and just go in there to have a little treat. And I found out that they don't do camera fudge coolers anymore, which are my favourite thing there. And so I'm not sure what I'm going to get now. I'm either going to get something from there. I have a £4 budget because the other I have £10, but I'm spending that on Monday when I go to the charge shops. And I've got to get something from with that on Monday. So I've got four pound four pound fifty to spend in either costa or coffee one i'm not quite sure yet depends on which has the cheapest drinks but my younger sister works at costa so i have to uh talk to her i think she said there's a cow another cow i drink that's only three pound fifty as well so i'll just ask for that but we'll do that near the time and tomorrow my Dad is taking my mum off to the doctors for a diabetes eye test and also she's got some other tests and then she's going to walk back because since having pneumonia they gave her some steroids for like to help her chest and since then she's been walk walking a lot better and stuff. Her stomach's been a bit bad, it was quite bad last night. Her eyes are doing a lot better now and she's feeling and looking a lot better than she was. And then my dad is going to drop her to the doctors and then going to see my grandma and bring her over and she's coming over because she normally comes over on a Friday. And so I'll be seeing her and then I'm going to be going on a massive walk and getting some nice nature photos. So I'll be able to vlog about that tomorrow. And I treated a bit. I went on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, posted some Instagram photos, did some more doll photography stuff and worked on the new part to my book series and did a bit of writing. And I listened to... Megan Trainer, and yeah, Kylie, and I can't wait for Kylie Minogue's new album to come out tomorrow. Can't wait to get that. Hopefully, it comes into Tesco store, and I'll be able to get that. And I am so excited for that. And I watched some classic Doctor episodes and some Supernatural, and watched the newest Shadow Hunter episode last night. And the ending was so dramatic. I absolutely love it. Love Shadow Hunters. And then I saw the season three trailer. For Riverdale, apparently Kevin is dead. Oh my gosh. Wait, that's not... Yeah, gosh. What? Hopefully he's... Well, I'm not quite sure if it's true or not, but apparently he's missing or something. Should have said... It was a spoiler alert. But then, why say it show in a trailer? If they, And why if they didn't want anyone to... It's like they didn't want anyone to find out or stuff. And they've they show it in the trailer. But I don't think he will be dead because otherwise they wouldn't show it in the trailer and stuff. I think he's been kidnapped or he's missing or something. 
but who knows i'm not quite, quite sure but i can't wait for the next season such a great show love the comics love the show and the songs and cast are just great and i am just loving season two to have to wait three well this is the second week now so wait no we've got two more weeks to wait so we have three weeks until the next episode and it's the carry musical special and people have been who have reviewed it have said how it's so good and the songs are so good so i cannot wait to watch that and i watch some old soap stuff and medical drama stuff and some period drama and horror and thriller stuff and i watched some classic disney and nickelodeon and people and cbc shows and films and i watched some episodes of Run and Grace, Full and Fuller House and some other comedy stuff, Laughter is the Best Medicine and I listened to a bit of Dry Dran, a bit of Kylie and a bit of Shania Train and some other singers and I'm now off to go finish working on the newest part of my book and then go and watch some more Doctor episodes and sort out my memory duck doll and do a bit of doll photography stuff. I hope you've all had a lovely week so far, have had a lovely day, and have a lovely rest of your week, and I shall see you soon in your vlog. Bye.